Hey guys, I'm here with another video of my 10 gallon community tank. And this tank has been around for a couple years now, but just the other day I added two African dwarf frogs that have been really fun additions. And I can't stop watching them. They're pretty cute and fun to watch. Um, so I wanted to share a little short video with you all so you can enjoy it with me. And I'll also be showing you how I feed the fish in my tank. I know it's common for a lot of people to just toss flakes at the top of the water, but this can actually lead to bloat. So I'm going to show you after I get a dose of these frogs <laughs> how I feed my five tiger barbs and um, four galaxy resboras. Actually, that's not the true species. They're called celestial something is the proper name, but I'm totally blanking right now. So I'm really into plants in my tank and I think it just gives it a really nice look and it also helps a lot with oxygenating the water and you can see I added <laughs> just a few house plants and put it in the back of my tank. This is a pothos plant and it's just sticking out the top and this is a snake plant. My dog's knocked over a couple leaves, so I decided to stick it in there, and the roots are growing inside. On the right, you can see all those stringy roots. And so now I'm gonna show you how I feed my fish. I take a glass jar, doesn't matter what you use, but I just take some of the tank water, and I add fish food into the jar. I like this Omega-1 brand. Um, and what I learned is to always put the flakes into a cap before just dunking it in the water because sometimes you can shake a little too much. And I just give it a little swirly so it starts to sink and I pour it directly into the tank. And I just do a little at first so the fish know it's feeding time. And in this tank, I've got a total of nine fish, two aquatic snails, and the two African dwarf frogs. It's nice to see them eat and just how agile and quick they are. The little froggies are coming out. That can be pretty hypnotizing to watch fish in a tank. It's a good reminder to slow down for the day. I think I definitely overdid it on this little feed. I thought it would be a more entertaining video, but they definitely didn't need that second splash of food. Frog buddies again. 
I do like how they tend to stay in the front part of the tank, which is nice for me. But I often do find them hiding as well, either in the ornaments and um, under that piece of driftwood. And this is really cool when they're just suspended in the water. I did post a separate video of one of these frogs eating a live blood worm. So that's another cool video that you can catch. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little bit and hopefully I'll post some more in the future.